Welcome to the Material Handling Pi Flow Training Module. Throughout this presentation, we'll cover all the basics for the Pi Flow Vacuum Conveying System. The purpose of this training is to introduce you to the vacuum conveying process. We'll also provide details about each important part of the vacuum conveying system. We'll also review the range of available products, highlighting the basic building blocks of the conveyor unit. These building blocks will help us to configure the right product for a target market or a customer specific need. Finally, we'll talk about some of the features that differentiate the PyFlow conveyors and share some information about the many tools available to sell and support the product line. The vacuum conveyor system is composed of a number of different components. The first major component is our suction point. This is where we feed product into the system. The suction point is typically a feed station, a feed adapter mounted to an external piece of equipment like a bolt bag and loader or a customer supplied hopper, and we can even supply just a basic handheld feed wand. Attached to the suction point is then our transfer line. The transfer line is usually either PVC flexos or some type of hard pipe stainless steel, carbon steel, or aluminum. Attached to our transfer line is then the vacuum receiver. The product enters the conveyor via a tangential inlet. This then initiates the process of separating the material from the vacuum flow. Product fines and dust are kept in the receiver by a filter. Only clean air flows through the pump and out the exhaust of the pump. A filter pulse or shock tank blows product off the filter with every cycle. This ensures maximum airflow and efficiency. Our multi stage coax driven air pump drives the high vacuum air quickly and efficiently, reaching peak performance. PIAB's proprietary design bottom valve ensures efficient discharge during the product empty portion of the cycle. PIAB offers a range of options to control our cycle times. Additional functions are also available and covered in a future training module. The components mentioned in the previous slide are highlighted here to show you how the proper selection will impact the vacuum conveyor's performance. The coax pump size is dependent on the product bulk density, the transfer distance, and the target rate. The filter shock is a standard item on all of our PIAP conveyors. The one constant here is the one-to-one -one ratio. What this means is that for each filter membrane we have, we have a dedicated shock tank for that filter. The filter type and size are also determined by the material's characteristics, the particle size, and the flow rate requirements. Our inlet diameter can increase or decrease based on the material characteristics and the application target rate. The receiver size of the body is also rate dependent and bulk density dependent. For high throughput applications, we'll need a lot of volume and a lot of vacuum flow. For a smaller transfer rate, we would use less volume and less flow dependent on the product bulk density. The bottom valve on the smaller pi flow units can either be a conical discharge or a full open discharge. The full open discharge is typically reserved for non free flowing product whereas the conical discharge is used with free-flowing product. For the larger pie flow units, what we can do is introduce an option called fluidization. With fluidization, we can include something like a fluid bed at the discharge of this conveyor for non-free-flowing products. There are several different types of vacuum pumps that can be used on our pie flow line of vacuum conveyors. Each pump type is designed to perform equivalently regardless of vacuum generation type. You can choose an electromechanical or an ejector pump for most of our PiFlow models. The only exception being the PiFlow T, which utilizes our Pi Gentle Control, which is a unique adder to our Pi Premium Ejector Pump. In the vacuum conveying industry, there are two main types of vacuum pumps used. There are compressed air driven vacuum pumps, or ejector pumps, and then there are mechanical pumps. For our PiFlow IF line of vacuum conveyors, we utilize our PIA Pi Basic Ejector Pump. 
and on the Pi Flow P line we use our Pi Premium ejector pump. Both pumps use our coax cartridge technology to produce vacuum flow in our modular when it comes to increasing or decreasing the vacuum flow. For applications where compressed air is at a premium, we can offer mechanical vane pumps as an alternative solution to our ejector pumps. Vane pumps are sized equivalently to our full line of ejector pumps. This ensures the performance of the PIA vacuum conveyor regardless of vacuum generator used. Customers choose the PIA flow conveyor for material handling because of its modularity, its simple and rugged construction, its compact footprint, its ease of installation, and its low overall maintenance costs. The modularity makes for quick and easy changes for upgrades or modifications. The construction then provides for reliable performance throughout the life of the PIAB vacuum conveyor. Systems using a PIAB ejector pump have minimal moving parts and require very little upkeep. By keeping the design and operation simple, it ensures ease of installation and operation in all material handling applications. Some additional advantages are highlighted here in this slide. Our fully pneumatic system is a perfect fit for intrinsically safe environments. Our range of filters from 5 micron down to 0.5 micron means we can handle a multitude of different products. The completely enclosed design ensures a clean dust-free environment. Multiple certifications also allow us to adhere to a variety of industry standards. Probably our greatest feature is our five-year warranty. This shows that PIAB stands behind their products. The patented coax design utilizes the Venturi principle to generate vacuum. Thanks to the three-stage coax technology, optimum performance can be achieved over a wider range of feed pressures. The movie illustrates the way coax technology works. The largest nozzle at the end of the cartridge provides the highest flow but the least amount of vacuum. The smallest nozzle at the front of the cartridge provides the deepest vacuum level, but the least amount of flow. As the cartridge is running and vacuum is building in the system, the flap valves will close. At roughly 20 kPa, or 6 inches of mercury, the largest nozzle cannot continue to develop any more vacuum. As the other nozzles create higher vacuum in the system, the flap valve for the third nozzle closes. The second flat valve will close for the same reason, roughly at 40 kPa, or 12 inches of mercury. What is coax? Coax combines the internal components of a multi-stage vacuum pump into a single vacuum cartridge. The result is a smaller, more efficient, and more reliable vacuum technology that can provide three times more vacuum flow than conventional systems. The principle of coax. When compressed air flows through the pump nozzles, air is pulled through with the stream of compressed air. Suction is thus created at the opening of each stage. PIAB uses the coax principle in two of our vacuum pumps for the conveying line of products. The PI basic pump used with the PI flow I and F conveyors and the PI premium pump which is used on the PI flow P and the PI flow T conveyors. Both use our unique high efficiency multi-stage vacuum generator technology to drive the vacuum conveying process. This picture shows a cross section of one of our Pi Premium pumps. The pump valving and the coax cartridge stack are visible here. 
blank cartridges, as well as extra working cartridges, are available. This allows the customer to fine-tune the performance of the pump without having to purchase a brand new pump housing. There are two different types of units available. We have the PyFlow I, which is designed for basic industrial applications. It includes general purpose gaskets and galvanized clamps. We then have the PyFlow F, which is designed for low or basic food applications. It has food grade gaskets, stainless steel clamps, and is approved by the FDA. Both the PyFlow I and F have flexible filter options and can achieve a max flow rate of about 5 tons per hour under ideal circumstances. The PyFlow I and F conveyors are only available in stainless steel 304 construction. They are intended to target the mid and lower ends of the food and chemical markets. Flow capacity can range from a few hundred pounds an hour up to that 5 tons per hour I mentioned earlier. Our actual typical sweet spot is closer to 100 pounds an hour up to 3 tons per hour. The max flow capacity is dependent on the pump flow, the filter media surface area, the volume of the receiver, and material characteristics. This slide shows the conveyor volume capacity for the PyFlow I and F. The volume numbers 6, 8, and 14 denote the amount of product the PyF can hold per batch cycle. Basically, the larger the volume, the greater the flow capability. Other critical factors that determine convey rates are transfer line size and pump size. Larger line size and higher flow pumps will fill the receiver faster, adding up to greater volume of product per hour. Our most complete and versatile line of conveyors is the Pi Flow P. A very visible difference between the I and the F series and the Pi Flow P is the material of construction used for the conveyor body. The PyFlow P uses a polished 316 stainless steel, whereas the PyFlow I and the F uses a 304 stainless steel pickled material. The PyFlow P includes robust gaskets, heavy duty stainless steel clamps, and a modular design that makes for easy disassembly and reassembly. Additional options are also available for the PyFlow P. Fluidization is available here, as well as extra volume modules, greater control functions, and a HEPA or sanitary filtration option. A greater range of inlet diameters and pump capacities are also available. The Pipho P can come with ATEX certification, as well as IQ OQ documentation packages. The PyFlow P product line covers material transfer capabilities ranging up to 14 tons per hour. This max transfer rate is wholly dependent on the material characteristics and transfer distances. Our actual typical sweet spot is closer to the range of 100 pounds up to 6 tons per hour. The capacity of the vacuum receiver is largely dependent on the volume it can hold, the transfer line size, and the pump size. All these features makes the PyFlow P an ideal candidate for a huge range of customer applications. Our most compact conveyors are often used for tablet press applications or small dedicated batch pharmaceutical projects. They also use our coax technology for the vacuum pump and they have a compact filter cleaning system. The PyFlow C2101120 as a 1.5 or 2.5 liter batch volume. The PyFlow P2 liter has 2 liters of batching volume. The next range of PyFlow P vacuum conveyors include the 3 liter and 7 liter unit. These conveyors can accommodate longer filters and larger vacuum pumps, which will allow us to increase the transfer capability of the PyAV receiver. The bottom valve can also be a full open discharge, which is used for non-free-flowing product, or our standard conical discharge, which is used for free-flowing material. Our next line of PyFlow P conveyors is our mid-size unit. This unit is available in a 14-liter version, as well as a 33-liter version. The mid-size PyFlow P unit uses multiple filters and has larger dual-headed Venturi pumps. This helps us to further increase the throughput of this particular vacuum receiver. For non-free-flowing products, we can also introduce a fluidizing cone option. 
The fluidizing cone is at the discharge of the conveyor, and it creates a fluid bed similar to an air hockey table that helps the product discharge out of the receiver. This is our last pie flow P model, the 56 liter unit. This is our largest vacuum receiver. It has more filter surface, more volume, and more flow capabilities than any of the previous conveyors we mentioned earlier. This unit is typically reserved for the very high end transfer rates. Fluidization is also an option on this unit for the non free flowing products. The PyFlow T or tablet conveyor is designed to convey tablets, capsules, or other fragile materials. This vacuum conveying system is optimized for the pharmaceutical, nutraceutical, and food industries. With the help of the Pi Premium Pump and the Pi Gentle Control, we can achieve a constant slow and gentle flow of tablets or capsules through the conveying system. There is also a detailed training module dedicated to the Pi Flow T, available in the material handling section on the Pi Arb Extranet. This graph plots the most common industry standards and how the Pi Flow series addresses each. The Pi Flow P is our premium technology generally used in the pharmaceutical and food industry. The PyFlow P offers the widest selection of options and can perform at the peak of our transfer rate range. In addition, the PyFlow P is also designed according to USDA dairy guidelines and it is FDA approved. The PyFlow F is our basic vacuum conveyor technology primarily used in the food industry. The PyFlow F is FDA compliant. The PyFlow I, then, is our basic technology used for industrial applications. Lastly, our PyFlow T shares the same premium platform as the PyFlow P, but it is instead designed to handle tablets or fragile products in the food, nutraceutical, and pharmaceutical industries. The PyFlow series has been designed and is fully documented to adhere to multiple industry standards. CE marking originates from a European set of regulations to make sure that machines comply with essential health and safety requirements. FDA, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, is in charge of food, dietary supplements, drugs, cosmetics, medical devices, and more. While the PyFlow P is not USDA certified, it is built in accordance with the USDA guidelines. PyABB is certified by a third party according to ISO spec 9001 and 14001. Pi vacuum conveyors I, F, and P can be certified for ATEX dust. The PyFlow P can extend to gas ATEX certification. IQ and OQ packages are available for the PyFlow P. IQ is installation qualification and OQ is operational qualification. Typically, this document package is used for pharmaceutical companies. The dedicated air shock system is an important part of each conveying cycle. During our convey time, so when our pump is running, the air shock tank is filled with compressed air. This is indicated by the blue line in the diagram above. When the pump stops, a signal from our control unit is sent up to the shock tank. At this time, the piston in the shock tank is released and the compressed air flows rapidly through the air shock tank. This compressed air is forced down through our filter membrane and knocks off any residual or built up product on the filter membrane. Once the bottom valve closes, this whole process will repeat itself. The filter type is a key component for optimum vacuum conveying performance. PIAB offers three different filter types to match a wide range of applications. Our most basic filter, the textile bag, is best for granular or large particle materials. The textile bag has a minimum particle size of 5 microns. The pleated rod and pleated filter have a minimum particle size of 0.5 microns and are generally reserved for finer powder materials. The selection between the 2.5 micron filters is based on the material and the amount of airflow needed to move the product. All of our filters are approved to FDA standards. 
they all can also be washed, which helps to extend the filter life. This video showcases a high-speed, high-definition video of the actual air shock filter cleaning process. Piab has developed a range of accessories designed to optimize the performance of the vacuum conveying system. These accessories consist mainly of feed point and pipeline components, such as feed stations, feed adapters, feed nozzles, hoses, and pipes. The selection of the feed method is determined by the type of material, the type of mating equipment available at the customer site, and other factors specific to each application. Most feed options include the ability to control the airflow into the product stream. This helps us to convey in either a dense or the loop phase depending on the customer's preference and material needs. PIAB offers different control options for each one of our vacuum conveying systems. The standard PIAB control boxes are completely pneumatic, reliable, low maintenance, and do not require any electrical supply. We also offer various level detectors to be used in conjunction with our pneumatic controls. In addition to our pneumatic control boxes, we offer an electrical pneumatic valve unit that can be used with electrical control systems such as a PLC. For more detailed information on our controls, please see the controls training module. The chart above helps to highlight some of the features and benefits of our pipe flow line of vacuum conveyors. Our high efficiency filter cleaning helps to maintain low maintenance costs and reduces product scrap. The compact design of the vacuum conveyors makes them easy to install and ensures that they can fit in low building height requirements. Our fully pneumatic systems also make them easy to install and use, makes them very easy to service and ensures that the units are reliable. The modular design of the conveyors makes it easy to install and clean easy to service and easy to upgrade. Our coax technology makes the pumps energy efficient and produces a low sound level. Additional features and benefits are also highlighted here. The dust-free conveying makes for a safer work environment. The high efficiency built-in filters do the same. They also minimize maintenance costs and they are FDA, ATEX, and CE approved. The stainless steel construction of the PIO conveyors makes them hygienic and robust. Conveying system expansion makes for a wide range of matching accessories. The optional sterile filter unit makes the unit even further hygienic, makes a safer work environment, and is OPA 16 rated, which means it can rate down to 0.2 micron particle size.